just a small I want to show y'all how important it is for us to actually come back to who we are. Cause I'm, I know y'all heard that term Israelite before, right? I think what we're missing is the importance of actually even knowing what an Israelite is. Because when we hear the term Israelites, I don't think we actually understand that these are people chosen by God. And yeah. what he did for these people, he would never do for another race of people. Uh, All right. I want to show you one thing. I'm going to get the book of, um, let me get uh, Luke, let me get Isaiah 42. Isaiah 42, I'm going to read verse 5 for you. You know, you're familiar with the captivity in Egypt, right? When the children served under the Egyptians. How long did they serve? They served over 400 years. 400 years they served, right? That's the same thing that happened on this side of the earth. The question is, why did it happen? We broke God's purse. Before you get that, read, um, give me uh, Isaiah, get Isaiah 42, read verse 4 to 24. I'm going to show you why it happened. If you look on the, on the front of the literature, it says the truth about slavery. The question is, you should be asking yourself, what are you telling me that I don't know about slavery? We was under another race of people. We were taking in cargo slave ships. We received jokes of iron. So what is it that you're telling me the truth about slavery? What I'm telling you is God allowed it to happen. Right. He allowed it to happen. I know that might seem shocking to you. Why would God allow this to happen to us? How dramatic it was and also our children suffering. And as parents, we can't do nothing about it. Why did he allow it to happen? I'm going to show you in the Bible. Get that real quick. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 24. Who gave Jacob for a spoil? Who gave Jacob for a spoil? Jacob is the father of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Of this tribe. Read on. And Israel to robbers. And Israel to who? The robbers. To the robbers. Who are the robbers? How did they get this land? They didn't call it America. How did they get the land of America? They stole it. That's right. Who have gave Jacob and Israel to the what? The robbers. Who gave it to them? Read on. Did not the Lord? Did not the Lord? So who, the reason why we was put in these conditions, did not the Lord do us, did this to us? Now he's going to give you the reason on why he did it. Now we read it out of the Bible. This is the reason why he said he did it. Read. He against whom we have sinned. We have sinned against him. Read on. For they would not walk in his way. Read. Neither were they obedient unto his law. Neither was we obedient to his law. That's why you've been hearing all day the laws, the statutes and commandments, because that's the message of the Bible. That's right. Sometimes people read the Bible for a good quarter, they let peace be still. The Bible is bigger than that. Right. The Bible tells you who you are, where yeah. you came from, and where you're going. Right. That's right. We gotta read it for what it is, as it is written. Christ is a black man. The Jews are black. Right. 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 The so-called right. blacks and Hispanics. Can we say that racist? No. no. That's in the Bible. It's been in the Bible. And it's, in, it's the same book that's in the Christian church. Read on. Verse 25. Therefore he had poured upon him the fury. He had poured upon him. Who's the him? It's you, the Israelites. Read on. The fury of his anger. He was infuriated when he gave us his commandments and we broke them. When we decided to keep Christmas, God is infuriated every December 25th. Oh, that's He's right. infuriated on Mother's Day. He's infuriated on Father's Day. It's right that's in the Bible. Right. That's Read right. on. And the strength of battle. Read. And it has set him on fire round about. God say we have a fire around us round about. Guess what? Read on. Yet he know not. Yet we know of not. You know what that fire round about is? It's called a system. God said if you don't want to serve me, you're going to serve your enemies. Right. And they set up the system. Right. That's the fire no, around about. No, a lot no, of our man, people man. don't know. The rap music that we listen to, oh, the, the Amigos, the Little Boosie, right. Gucci Man, Little Chris, whatever you want to call it. That is a system set up to oppress us. Yeah, that's that's right. right. We listen to the tune. We don't listen to the message behind it. Right. Right. This, this is my second time coming to Atlanta. I'm going to tell you something. What I'm seeing over here is what I see back at home in Orlando. Right. These brothers and sisters are strung out on drugs. Right. When they talk about cooking dope, this is the effects of it. Right. We don't see that. We think right. this is a good tune. Brothers and sisters, we are dying. Yes, and nobody is going to listen to the message unless we men stand up right. and right. proclaim this Bible. That's God right. say, raise up a standard. Come on now. Okay, yes. this is the word we're coming out of. We don't, we don't read the, uh, the Quran. 
We don't read the Egyptian book of the dead. We read out of the King James Bible. Right. And God wrote the Bible so we can expel all of that. Right. Because in this Bible, it tells you you were going to come over here and cargo slave ships. It's the lowest among society. The last hire, the, the last hire, the first fired. That's in the Bible. The prison houses are in the Bible. Right. The reason why we have the highest jail population, because God said you were going to get it. You're going to be in those conditions. Right. Can we read that? Read that, verse 22. Read that. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 22 Read But this is a people robbed But this is a people robbed How are we robbed? Who created the traffic light brother? No! Black people black created the traffic light That's right. Who created the telephone? Black, black people created the telephone no. The hairbrush Black the broom, Black peanut man. butter, Black all of these things we have created. Give me that in the pocket for real quick. Hold that. I'm going to show you something real quick. It says, this is a people robbed. Pay attention to it. My brother right here. What's your name? I'm going to try to show you something. I want to show you something. Pay attention to what it says. We created all of these things. We are intelligent people. Right. Right. We are being killed. And then we're, we're, we're made to think that we are less than them. We are the greatest. That's Back right. then we had our own governance. governance. That's right. We had our own policies that we implemented. We didn't have no drug dealers in our land. We right. knew what was acceptable. Right. We didn't have prostitutes in our land. Right. We brother, we trying to go back. America is not the place. Right. God told you blacks and Hispanics, don't get comfortable here because this place is on its way out. Right. Read that, uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 verse 1. Look it out. It says, we are people that's robbed. Brother, we created everything, half of the stuff you see. Yes, you're right. Read that real quick. Wisdom of Solomon, Wisdom of Solomon. 5 and 1. Chapter 5 verse 1. And shall, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. In that day when Jesus Christ, the black Messiah returns, it says the righteous shall stand. Read on. In great boldness. In great boldness. That's not right. as an African American. Not as a Puerto Rican. Not as a, a Cuban. As the righteous people being called by the names of Israel. Read on. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness Read on. before the face of such as have afflicted him. And we're going to stand in great boldness in the face of them that have afflicted us for over 400 years, even on this side of the earth. Yeah, that's on. right. And made no account of his labor. They did what? And made no account of his labor. They made no account of our labors. They ain't give us the credit for the stuff that we built on this side of the earth. No one do we have an inheritance, brothers and sisters. You ain't got no rights in America. Right. You don't have the, 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 the freedom you think you have. That's right. Try to leave this land without a passport. See what happens? That's right. That's right. God gave this entire earth to you. You still pay, we still pay water bills. I can't say you, we pay water bills. I pay a water bill that I'm not supposed to be paying because you know what? God says, when I made the world, I gave it to the nation of Israel. Can we read that out of the Bible? Let's read that real quick in the book of 2nd Ezra. 2nd Ezra chapter 7 verse 10. Check this out. And I say, it is so, Lord, then said he unto me, uh -huh. even so also is Israel's portion. Even for Israel's portion. Once again, brothers and sisters, you are the Israelites, you so-called blacks and Hispanics. The reason why we don't remember that we are Israel because God prophesied in the book of Psalms 83 that you were not going to remember. That name of Israel was going to be blotted out. That's right. You are the nation of Israel, and we can't be ashamed to say that. That's right. It's in the Bible. Real quick, before you uh, get, before you read on, I want to get that in the book of Isaiah, chapter 20, 83. Because I have to read it for you. Because I want to, I want you to see the vision. The Bible says, go out and speak to the children of the captivity. That's who you are. Make no mistake about it, brother. You are not free. Sisters, you are not free. We have to come back into our proper order. The man is the head of the household. I know a lot of our sisters don't like that, but guess what? God set it up that way. Man, we got to take care of our children. That's right. We got to take care of our children and raise them right. We got to lead them to we got to lead them to the better life that we we should always should have had. But we lost that life that we had because we broke the commandments. So therefore, we got to reverse the cycle. We got to reverse the cycle. Get that. Eight. Psalms 83, read verse 1. Psalms chapter 83, verse 1. Keep not thy silence, O God. And check this out. This is one of the biggest conspiracies upon this planet Earth. Everything that you see before your life, this, this right here, it's about you. 
Everything that they do. Everything that they do. Hear me clearly. The rap music, once again. The drugs, the churches that they set up, the liquor stores that they put in every community, black right. community. It's against you. Right. You understand how important you are, brother. This this whole agenda that's set up is to keep you sleep. Because they understand if, if they understand if you don't wake up. Their, their society, their American dream will continue. Right. And you don't even experience the American dream unless you go to sleep. That's the only time you see that dream. Right. The dream don't exist. It's only a dream. Understand that. Read that. Yeah. Talk, chapter 83, verse 1. Keep not thy silence, O God. Uh -huh. Hold not thy peace. And God right now, he is holding his peace. He's holding back the wrath until you wake up. He's holding back the angels. Don't destroy the earth. They still got time to yeah. get this together. Yeah. God is waiting on y'all, brothers right and sisters. Right now, y'all got to come back to God as yeah. the nation of Israel. Right. That's right. Not a Christian, not a Pentecostal, not a Seventh Day Adventist, not a Catholic. Right. Right. God didn't give us no religion. When Moses right. came down from the mount, he gave us the commandments. That's, That's right. right. That's what this Bible is about. Read on. And be not still, O God. Read on. For lo, thine enemies. For lo, thy what? Thine enemies. The enemies are every other race outside of the nation of Israel. It's All gonna right. tell you why. An enemy, first off, let me say this. An enemy wouldn't do this to you right here. That's right. An enemy yeah. wouldn't put yokes of iron upon your neck and still call you a two, and still say you three-fifths of a human, a human being today. Bring it up. That's still in the doggone policies that they have. It's Bring still it in the Constitution. We don't, we look, overlook that type of stuff. Brothers, this whole agenda is against you. Read on. For lo, their enemies make a tumult, uh -huh. and they that hate thee Read. have lifted up the head. And they that hate thee have lifted up their head. They show you how they hate you. When they pull you over the black, tell, tell me brothers, is my wrong? Do we get this feeling in the back of our neck when the police pull over? Even when we doing something right. Because we know that they don't like us. We know that they don't desire us. We know that they are our oppressors. Brother, that feeling that you got is natural. God said you're in captivity. That's the way you're supposed to feel. That's right. But the way that we're going to come out of that is keeping God's commandment. That's that is right. the revolution that the Bible speaks of. That's, That's right. right. Read on. They have taken crafty counsel uh -huh. against thy hidden ones. They have taken crafty counsel against thy hidden ones. You are the hidden ones. Read on. They have said, come and let us cut them off. Come together and let us cut them off, read on. From being a nation. From being a nation. We don't look at each other as a nation. We walk down the street in Atlanta, we see a brother look at us, we ready to kill the brother because we think he looked at us wrong. A couple months ago, was a brother shot over across the street. This is what's going down in Atlanta. Right. We hate each other. We don't desire one another. God said, you are a nation that is hidden. We are destroyed because we broke God's commandments. It's time for us to fix these problems. Right. Read on. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That the name of Israel might be in no more remembrance. That's why we don't know who we are. But I'm gonna tell you right now, to this, to this day, you're living in Bible prophecy. What you see these brothers up here doing? This is Bible prophecy. Get them, get them in the book of I'm gonna show you that real quick. This ain't just no, 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 no thought we just had. Let's just go out and just read the Bible to people. We are set up by the Most High God to come unto you, brothers and sisters. Because we know the punishment that God is bringing to this earth. America has not yet seen it. We haven't seen it yet. We hope it. That stuff you seen in New Orleans with that flood, that was only a little bit of God's judgment. God is in the storm. The storms and the, the tornadoes and everything, the destruction you see, that is God. The Christian church told you that was Satan. So you can't relate the two. So when you're going through hell, you won't associate it with God. So you won't look into it and examine yourself, why am I going through this? If you don't put those two together, that if God is putting me through this, and you say Satan is doing it, you won't acknowledge your faults. You'll just think Satan is doing it. Right. The Christian church has fooled us. It's time to come out of the churches. It's time, it's been time to come out That's of the churches. Right. That's, That's right. right. Read that. Baruch chapter th uh, 2, verse 34. <laughs> Baruch chapter 2, 34. Uh -huh. And I will bring them again into the land which I promised. This is what Christ is coming back to do. He's going to bring us back into that land which he had promised. Read on. With an oath uh -huh. unto their fathers, Abraham, 
Isaac and Jacob. Uh huh. No, matter of fact, jump up to 32. This is the point I want. Baruch chapter 2 and verse 32. Read. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity. That's what we're doing now. We're exalting the voice in the land of our captivity, saying, The Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is our God. That's He's right. our God and nobody else. That's, That's what right. the Bible says. That's right. Read. And think upon my name. And think upon his name. That's what we're supposed to be doing on the Sabbath day. We ain't supposed to be in their shopping stores. That's we ain't right. supposed to be buying, shopping, or selling. Not this day. No. Nope. God said you got six days to do that, bro. Right. You understand? God said you got six days to do that. You know what nope. I'm talking about, right? The day ain't the time to do that. You understand that? That's the day ain't the time to do that. It's time to. Remember the Lord. You can sell all your merchandise to make your way of living the rest of the six days. Leave this day alone. Because that's, that's your day to honor God. That's it. You understand that? We don't. And I'm not atta attacking you personally. This is a message for everybody. Verse 33. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Yes, sir. And return their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. Uh -huh. And they shall remember the way of their fathers. 30, verse 30. Check this out. Check this out. Baruch chapter 2, verse 30. Uh huh. For I knew that they would not hear me. God said he knew that we would not hear him. Read on. Because it is a stiff necked people. Because we are stiff necked people. But where? Read on. But in the land of their captivity. But in the land of your captivity here in America. They shall remember themselves. That's why you're hearing that you are an Israelite today, because right. we're remembering ourselves. That's That's right. Right. We got to come back to the Father. Now, give me that in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Real quick. I'm going to show you something, sister. And the reason why I'm showing you this, I'm going to tell you one thing. Paul said, when you go out, you're supposed to teach in this posture. Knowing that we were sometimes foolish, we're not supposed to come down on our people. But now that we understand, we got to show our people the way we change, they also have to change. Right. If you fear God. Right. God said that he that is of God is going to hear God's words. So I'm going right. to show you something real quick. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. That's what I want. Bring it up. That's it. Yes, sir. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? God said, know ye not that you are the temple of God. All right, sister. You got a flyer? Yeah, when you gonna come to the school? We from Texas. You from Texas? We got a school in Texas too. What part of Texas? Three schools in Texas. Dallas, Texas. Well, there you go. You right on the spot. You got a church in Dallas. Go to the website, sister. All right. All right. All right, sister. Read that again. First Corinthians chapter three and verse sixteen. Know ye not? That ye are the temple of God? God said, know ye not that you are the temple of God, meaning our bodies. Read on. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Read on. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. What, what Bible we read out of? This is God's Bible, the King James Bible. God says, if we destroy our temple, him will God destroy. You know that? The cigarette that you holding, destroying your body? No. Let me tell you something, sister. Give me the book of uh, Romans, I will come. I'm going to show you something. That's right. And Hillwood you ain't the only one that come from that background life. You see all these brothers stand up here? We ain't just pop out of heaven. We, right. we was in the same life. That's right. right. We right. thought that was a source of comfort. We thought that's how you get rid of stress, but it ain't. We're going to show you the real comfort according to the Bible. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, whatsoever things were written aforetime, were written for our learning. Were written for our learning. Read on. That we do patience. That we do patience. Read on. And comfort. And what? And comfort. And what? And comfort. Read on. Of the scripture. Of the what? Of the scripture. Not by alcohol, not by drugs, not by ecstasy. All right. We have comfort of the scriptures. That's right. Right. Since it's a right. stress. You shouldn't because we're in captivity, but God gave you a way out. And it wasn't a cigarette. That's right. That's what they gave us. You read the back of the box, it tells you all the side effects that it has. That's, That's right. right. It's a slave mentality that I continue smoking knowing that it's not going to do any good for you. Since it's new scratch, this is where you rest. You understand that? It's time to put it down. It's time to put it down. There's a trash right behind you, sister. There's a trash right behind you. Yeah, you put that away. You don't need this great meal to walk off the toilet. That's what it is, it's stored away. That is just one. You don't smoke one. You do 
trying to show you that you have to stop that, especially if you're in that condition. You shouldn't be doing that, sister. You got to have respect for yourself like I have respect for you. That's why I told you that. That's right. Give me that in Levit Leviticus 19. This is what we're supposed to be doing. This is what the Christian church has supposed to be doing since they have been set up as a church. Bring it out. Telling our people where they are wrong. This is our job to correct ourselves. This is our job to correct each other. Because we want all of us to be on that side of the, the, the kingdom. That's in right. our land. Governing ourselves. Give me that real quick. 1917. Chapter 19, verse 17. Read it. Thou shalt not hate thy brother. Thou shalt not hate thy brother. Read on. In thine heart. In thine heart. Meaning you see another sister that's smoking, you tell her the same thing that you learned today. Look sister, this is what I was told. 1 Corinthians 3.16, we gotta put this thing down. We supposed to find our hope in the Bible. Brother, you gotta relay that same message. Same message that go for you went for the sister. I see you have on the socks. We ain't supposed to be smoking weed either. It was never in the Bible to do it, you understand that? And plus the message, you don't wanna put, Give me that real quick, and uh, I know I'm going through a lot. I want you to bear with me. Uh, give me Matthew chapter 5. I want to show you something. The example, and uh, give me the 1st uh, Maccabees 14 and 9. Give me both of those. Take this out, brother. Matthew chapter 5, verse 14. We are the light of the world. God say the children of Israel, we are the light of the world. Right. Meaning we're supposed to be the example. In the book of Isaiah 60, it says the whole world lieth in darkness. Everything is backwards. The woman want to become a man. The man want to become a woman. The, ch the child want to become an adult. And the adult want to become the child. It's backwards. We supposed to be setting the example. Setting this, this world right. In this rightful place. Read it again. Ye are the light of the world. God say you are the light of the world, brother. We supposed to be the light. Read on. A city that is set on a hill Read on. cannot be hid. Verse 16. Let your light so shine before men. Let your light therefore shine before men. What is your light? Give me that in the book of Proverbs 6, 23. What is the light that we're supposed to be shining? Book of Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 23. For the commandment is a lamp. For the commandment is a what? A lamp. For the commandment is a lamp. A lamp is used for light. For the commandment is a lamp. God said, let your light shine. Man, you're supposed to be showing these commandments. For some mother brother that's following you in as, as an example. That's not one, brother. That's not one. Because every brother that look upon that that's struggling with smoking weed, they're going to look at that and say, man, you know what? I ain't the only one in this thing. Just roll this joint. You got to set the better example. You understand that? That's a big responsibility. That's right. Big responsibility. Uh, I'll go back to Matthew 5. Matthew 5, let's finish that off. Verse 16 again. Matthew 5, verse 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. And glorify your Father which is in heaven. Now, other people, you about to leave? I'm going to read one more for you real quick. Go back to Isaiah. I'm almost done. You can drop that part. Matter of fact, oh, I got that one in Maccabees. Read that 14 and 9. First Maccabees 14 and 9. First Maccabees chapter 14, verse 9. The ancient men set all in the streets, coming together, communing together of good things. And one thing that we, this right here, we ain't seeing. Our ancient men, mean our older men that's supposed to know better, they ain't setting the example for us. We all have fallen. This is why we gotta put our minds right. We're supposed to be led by the older man. That's right. The cycle is reversed. This is what the older men used to talk back. They used to talk about the commandments back then. They used to talk about the things that were wrong and they used to fix these things. Right. Read on. And the young man put on glorious and warlike apparel. How did we dress back then? Glorious and warlike apparel. We looked like men back then. That's right. We dressed like we were somebody back then. They gave us these clothes to wear with the skull and the bones on it. And they wear suits and ties. So they can look intelligent. They have us looking like cartoon characters. All right. With colors, bright colors on elaborate colors. Back 
Back then we were warriors. That's when right. people looked upon us, they saw a nation of armies. They, right. right. they saw people with common sense. They said this is a wise and understanding people. Right. That's, right. That's, how they, that's how they dealt with us back then. Today they don't respect us because we don't respect ourselves. Right. Give me that. Go back to Isaiah. I want to show you something. This is the last verse I got for you. I bet back to Isaiah 43. Now I want to read verse 3. Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 3. You know? For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel. He says, I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel. Read on. The Savior. Thy Savior. Read on. So it ain't no president we looking for right. to save us. Right. We ain't looking for Obama. We ain't right. looking for Trump or the next All president right. after that right. to save us. It's the Lord our God, Jesus Christ, that looks like this. A black man that looks like you. That's, That's right. right. That's what we look That's like. You right. so-called blacks. Read. I gave Egypt for thy ransom. He says, I gave the nation of Egypt for thy ransom. You, we ain't no Egyptians. I know we like to subscribe to Egyptians because we hear that they was kings. Guess what? The Egyptians are one of the only one kings. That's we right. at one time had them under subjection. That's, That's right. right. We supposed to have all nations in subjection, but it's turned backwards. This earth is waiting on you, black man, to get it right. That's this right. earth is waiting on you. It's out of course because you out of course. That's, That's right. right. You know. Read on. Ethiopia and Saber for thee. He says, I gave Ethiop Ethiopia and Saber for thee. Read on. Since thou was precious in my sight. Now, right, check this out. Read on. Since thou was precious in my sight. Read on. Thou hast been honorable. Thou hast been honorable. Read on. And I have loved thee. And I have loved thee. Read right. on. Therefore will I give men for thee. God said he killed all the people so the nation of Israel could live. That's right. That's what he felt. Right. That's how he felt about the nation of Israel. This brings us to the point where God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. We think that's in talk, we talking, that's talking about everybody on this earth. Right on. He was talking about the nation of Israel. That's right. right. That's how he felt about the other nations. Get out of the way and let my people live. That's, that's right. right. He killed another race so we can live. So John 3, 16 ain't a contradiction. He was talking about the world of Israel. That's what? Isaiah 45, verse 17. You was the world he was talking about. That's he right. said Christ to die for your sins. That's the reason why we suffer the most, because we are responsible for the commandments. That's right. The reason why we are in the lowest condition, because we were given the responsibility of keeping God's commandments. That's right. You understand your purpose upon this earth, brother? Yeah. What is it? Let me ask you that question before you leave. Sir, God. I know I said the last one, but I want, if you don't get this answer right, then I got to go to it. What's your purpose? What's your duty upon this earth? Oh, uh, serve God. Like serve God to do what? Uh, All right, read that. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Watch this. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. I said, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Read on. Fear God. Fear God, like you said. Read on. And keep his commandments. And keep his commandments. That's right. One of the commandments that this is the Sabbath day. We read about the Sabbath day. What are we not supposed to be doing, sister? We're not supposed to be doing anything but worshiping the most high. Are we, can we cook? No. Can we buy? No. Can we sell? No. All right. Y'all know what to do. That's just one commandment. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't run from me, brother. Take the medicine. <laughs> really? That's For what this want. is the whole duty of man. That's the reason why you were born. That's, That's right, your right. whole duty upon earth is to fear God and keep his commandments. Read on. Right. For God shall bring every work into judgment. Because in that day, you're going to have to answer for the sins that are answer for the laws that you have broken. So this is actually love that we're showing you because we don't want you to perish. That's right. We want you to make right. it in God's kingdom. But the only way to, to get to that kingdom, we got to keep God's commandments. That's right. Grow your beard in. Keep the Sabbath day. Put some fringes on your the bottom of your shirt. Sister, put some fringes on the bottom of your dress. Bring it out. You understand that? And the sock. Take them socks. Burn them socks. <laughs> burn that weed. Don't burn the weed. Burn them socks. <laughs> All right, brother. Nice talking to you, you brother. Too, man.
Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.